Hey guys, John for Cartridge Blast Gamers here with another Dragon Ball Super Review. If you like this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so, and feel free to leave comments down below. What an episode! It was full of awesome action that gave the Super Saiyan tripod each their own moments. If you haven't seen it yet, go now! Watch it before it's too late! Then please come back and watch this again, please. So for those who have seen it, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. As to what I thought of the episode, well, what I liked is that the action was good, Vegeta gets his Goku Black beat down, the time machine gets destroyed, so no running away, and that's actually it. What I didn't like was, one, we never saw Trunks battle after Goku and Vegeta left. Something I was really looking forward to, instead we jumped to right after the battle, where he's being treated by Yajirobe, who somehow saved him? What? And two, I don't like how the writers actually thought that a bullet, even though made by Genius Bulma, would have been able to kill Goku Black. I mean, come on, that bullet would have had to have been made by the same material that broke the Z-Sword to even scratch him. That or Bulma just invented some serious new material that would have been better suited as armor for Trunks than a bullet. Number three, I didn't like how Goku Black, being a god, yet again stabbed a Super Saiyan, and again, missed the heart. Either it's on purpose, or he just sucks at Saiyan anatomy. And number four, I don't like how predictable it's getting. Let me explain. Now this is all about future events from what the episode 64 preview looked like, so if you don't want to know any possible spoilers, please stop the video now. You've been warned. Okay, so from the preview, we know that Black and Zamasu fuse at some point to become a super Zamasu with Saiyan cells. Now in this episode, we know that the urn they were going to trap Zamasu and or Black Goku and broke when the time machine was hit. The plan would have been to defeat Black and trap Zamasu. Two problems. But, of course now with them fused together, it makes them easier to trap. So would they use the Mafuba technique? They could if Trunks can super glue it together in time. Or since some reason Goasu and Supreme Kai decided to join the fun randomly. Will Goku and Vegeta just fuse with their earrings and have Vegito defeat them? Well, Vegeta has way too much pride, I think, to want to fuse again, but since we learned the Dragon Balls can reverse the fusion like Supreme Kai and Kabito did, will that persuade them to use it? Another thing to think about too is, will Super Zamasu be immortal still, or does the effect wear off now that they are a different being? Also, when Mai shot the Super Magic Bulma bullet, it seemed to have hit Goku Black's earring. Does this mean the fusion will have a defect to it? It feels like they are setting it up like that. Anyway guys, this episode was a go one with a lot of action and solid animation. Despite some flaws with this episode, I'll still give it a 9 out of 10. It did set up a lot of what ifs though. Hopefully the Mafuba is not used and Goku and Vegeta actually get the fuse and the bullet does not lead to a defect in Super Zamasu fusion, but we'll find out. Anyway, that's all the time I have today guys. Thanks for watching this review and as always please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you have anything to add or just want to yell at me, please leave a comment down below. I'm John for Cartridge Blast Gamers, stay awesome, and we'll catch you next time. Peace!